Well, I would define it uh, the way I have defined it before, which is to say that, genre, and, and I, I would not distinguish text genre from genre. I define this rather largely to be a typified rhetorical action based in re recurrent rhetorical situation. Now, that's a more complicated definition than it sounds. Each one of those terms embeds a lot of assumptions. Uh, I, I'm not going to parse those out right now. Um, they're in my 1984 article. Um, I would just say that that tends to focus more on production, on the person engaging in an action, than it does on reception. Uh, but I think it can be oriented to, th to think about the way that someone takes up an action and responds to it. So, so I think production and reception are both important in thinking about um, uh, genre as action. Uh, certainly uh, have used and accept uh, Professor Miller's definition. I, I'll point out a, a few characteristics of that. Um, one is that this places genre uh, not in the text or in the artifact, the object itself, but it puts it in the perception of the creator and the perception of the receiver. What do they perceive going on? Um, and, uh, and that makes it a psychological recognition category, but these, since these are historically um, uh, emerged social, uh, socially uh, practiced and um, uh, distributed that um, there's some alignment uh, between people over time so it's also a social uh, category. The second thing I'd want to say and this does not really limit it to language itself um, but it does have the notion of um, let's say, a statement or meaning created by somebody in that it is uh, uh, genre are um, collections or perceived collections of utterances. Um, utterances are, are bounded, have beginnings and ends or uh, top and bottom of the painting. They have a, uh, they occupy a defined place in space and time and uh, uh, contain a meaning, uh, are perceived as containing a meaning. Um, so those two characteristics, that these are psychosocial recognition categories and that these are uh, genres are um, categories of utterances are, are two of the elements that I tend to emphasize.